Hello, Muffin. You're a sleepy dog. If you want to see photos of Muffin, follow us on Twitter, at FromAHat, and we'll post all the photos of Muffin. Or Muffins, depending on your preference. Welcome to From a Hat, the show we draw a topic out of a hat, just like it says in the title. I'm Ben. I'm Phoenix. Henry, you didn't say your name. What's he clean? Is he clean this tail? I think so. We can have His a back leg. Yeah. Draw the hat, Phoenix. Create a kaiju. Okay. Uh, can I use the Godzilla theme? Sure. Should I use the Godzilla theme, or should I use um, the Blue Oyster Cult song, or should I use the cover from the recent Godzilla movie? Why not all three? All right, at this, I'll use two because then I can have one play out of the left ear and one play out of the right ear. But you could have three: one in the left, one in the right, one in both. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll have the Godzilla theme in the left ear. I'll have the cover of Godzilla by Blue Oyster Cult in the right ear, and then I'll have Godzilla by Blue Oyster Cult in both. It's gonna be awful. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, listeners. So go- we're making a kaiju, so let's start off. Kaiju, big old monster. Yeah, kaijus for anyone who is uninitiated somehow, uh, consist, uh, they're the things, the big things. The big things. Uh, Godzilla, Mothra, mm-hmm. King Ghidorah, yeah. Rodan, Gamera, yeah. big thing. Big, big old scary thing, eat building, kill people. Mm. Godzilla fight. Godzilla fight, protect the earth. Yeah. Protect the earth from devastation. So this, I think, is going to be pretty easy. Yeah. We just take an existing thing, make it big. See, we live in Australia. We do. We have a lot of kaiju as it is. Now. Back in the day, megafauna were essentially kaiju. Pretty much. Jesus, megafauna are terrifying. Uh, for someone who doesn't know, megafauna was this period of time where these animals were just big. Just giant. Megafauna. A fauna is an animal. Megafauna were these massive prehistoric creatures that were just fucked. Picture a wombat. Now make it a monster. <laughs> My favourite was the giant kangaroo. Mm. Basically every Australian animal used to be big. Just a bigger <laughs> version. Well, uh, there was one that was just a big snake. Yeah. Like, I'm like, that's a thing now, isn't it? <laughs> Surely. A python is a big snake. Sure, like, isn't an anaconda just like a massive fucking snake? Yep. Surely there's, like, big snakes now. But anyway. But yeah, so we live in Australia. Yeah. Now, I don't know if people outside of Australia know this, but Australia has a thing about it, which is the big things. I feel like every nation has, like, a big thing. Yeah, but, but like, Australia prides itself on our big things. Which is really weird. Right, so we got the big banana. Yeah. We got got the big merino. What's a merino? A merino is a sheep. Why not say sheep, then? Because it's, it's called the Big Merino. It's a type of sheep. Okay. I've seen the Big Gold Panner. We've got the, uh, there's a Big Avocado. Mm-hmm. Big, big Shrimp. Isn't there a Big Orange somewhere? I think there's a Big Orange. So, my theory is we just bring all of them to life. Like that episode of The Simpsons? Yeah. Um, I mean, okay. Now, we're on the run from a giant pineapple. <laughs> and when you think when you're you safe say... from that, oh boy. There comes a giant prawn. Oh, there's a giant mosquito. When you say brought to life, do you mean, like, with the fruit one specifically, uh, are you giving them arms and legs? Yes. All right, then. Okay, so picture it like this. Okay. So, Godzilla. Yeah. He's a little gecko boy. Wow. No. Right. Just no. In, in, no. In one version. No, that's not even actually Godzilla. Toho bought the rights to him. His name is Zilla. He is not Godzilla. How dare you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not the point. Yes, it is the point. Point being, little gecko boy. Zilla. Sure. Gets nuclearized. Mm. Big. Mm. So, nukes drop on Australia. Right. Uh, Do you know what nuclear blasts do to um, metal? Let me finish. Okay. 
Nukes drop on Australia. Now, it doesn't hit any of the big things. Does doesn't get too close, but the, the nuclear radiation that's spreading through Australia gets into our into our crops and our stuff like that. Right. Next thing you know, our bananas are coming alive. And they wrap around the big banana, creating a living big banana with, with veggie legs. That's my idea for a kaiju. Veggie legs? Veggie legs. What's a veggie leg? Well... Picture legs. Yeah. Make them out of moving vegetation. Why not moving banana vines? What do you think vegetation is? But why say vegetation and not like... Because um, because that's just one example. Because I'm also talking about the, the pineapple and the avocado and the big old prawn. I think the prawn will die. Yeah, he's not that big. He's not that big and he's a prawn. He will die. <laughs> he's not. He's not in the ocean. No, he, he, he it's like... It's the same thing, you know. It's just trees inhabiting the in inhabiting. So these really, creatures. you've not brought these things to life at all. No, you've but brought... it's still like a kaiju. It's like I've brought the vegetation to life and given them a vessel to work with. So in reality, you've got shells. Yes, They've, you've made hermit crabs, but yeah. less cool. No, more cool. No, because now there's there's a bunch of big big old Aussie icons roaming around the place eating people. Why are they eating people? Uh, nutrients. That makes sense. I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. I was going to argue with you and I'm like, no, no, that's fair. I mean, Ghidorah eats people because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he sure does. I like Ghidorah. Mm. You know that the um, head that eats people <laughs> is named Kevin? Why? Because um, in the original Japanese, uh, King Ghidorah's three heads are named Ichi, Ni, and Sun. And uh, the American fan base and, like, well, the Western fan base have dubbed the third head that eats people Kevin because he is the zany one. But why? <laughs> because it's funny. Okay. It's Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Kevin eats people. I like Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's funny. Did you watch the the new Godzilla? Yeah, I did. What did you think? I'm, I liked it a lot. I also liked it quite a bit. Needs more Godzilla, though. I thought it was funny that King... Like, I know it's kind of, like, staple, but King Ghidorah's head's just not getting along. Yeah. I love it. That's why I like them. They've got personality. Yeah. I really liked, um, going in, I'd heard reviews of people complaining. I was like, oh, it's just a bunch of monsters fighting with no plot. And I'm like, that's why we're fucking here. That's why we're watching it. What do you mean? It's Godzilla. That's the fucking point. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I loved it. I loved every goddamn second. Except they made Rodan a little punk. He's already a little punk. I like Rodan. Rodan was cool. How can you like Rodan? How He's like you... a big old pterodactyl boy. Mothra's way cooler. No, I like Mothra too. I love like... her. She's adorable. Yeah, but like Rodan in this movie was just like, oh, he scares me. Okay, I'm your, I'm, I'm bound down to you, King Ghidorah. You're, you're, I'm, you're in charge. I am looking forward to um, King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, which is supposed to come out like next year. Yeah, I'm also keen for uh the mechas to come into the Godzilla Oh, yeah, franchise. I can't wait for that shit. I can't wait to see how they explain that. They don't explain it in the... They kind of hint at it in the movie, but yeah. you know Ghidorah's an alien? Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? It's that's what cool. space happens. That me Basically, that's Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> when fucking God... They went to God uh, Godzilla's little hideout in the bottom of the ocean or whatever, the entire time they were in basically Atlantis, I was like, this is... This is Raleigh. I'm waiting for fucking Cthulhu to show up. This is Cthulhu's hometown. And you've blown it up. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Cthulhu. So, my kaiju uh, is a big monster made of hair. Okay. Like Cousin It? Yes, but much bigger. But much bigger. And less humanoid. Does he... What does he do? He's just... Does he, he just go around and eat people? Yeah. He tangles them up in his hair. He nice. crushes them. Because he hates humans. I feel like I like it. It's a com- it's every single hair that's ever gone down the drain has mo- morphed into a big ball. Of course, and it wants revenge <laughs> for what? For the fact that you abandoned it in the drain. How Where- dare you? Where else is it going to go? You should have done. That's the point. <laughs> I I'm on your side here. I think it is dumb. But the fact of the matter is, the hair does the it. Hair the hair wants revenge. Of course, the hair thinks you betrayed it. How did it come alive? I assume toxic dumping, radiation. Yeah. Everything comes alive in Godzilla by radiation. Mm. Except in the new ones, where it's just like, they've kind of just been around for forever. 
I mean, yeah, like that's kind of how it is in like the thing, but yeah. like we launch nukes and it kind of wakes them all yeah, up. Yeah, it wakes them all up. That's my logic here is that this, well, this thing is not, this thing was brought to life by radiation. Mm-hmm. I assume in the aftermath of a Gojira attack, yeah. it kind of gives it all power. See, I, I'm just picturing like a bunch of hair stuck in a sewer drain and then someone's like, hey, we got all, we, we got all this toxic waste here. Let's just dump it down the drain. Hey, yo, Paulie, let's just dump it here. We got to go catch the game with the socks. Yeah. And then, you know, just... <laughs> That's the sound it makes. Yuck. When it, when it fir- when you first see it like actually moving around, it's like it's been in the drain. It's been in like this system, so it's just goopy. Like yeah, it's covered in turds. <laughs> <laughs> see, um, you know, hey, in- Bolly, Bolly, what's that? It's covered in hair gel. <laughs> you know the um the thing in Monsters University that's just like a line, mm-hmm. like that guy. That's how it looks. It doesn't have arms and legs. Yeah, I, no, se- no, I specified no. that. Yeah. So when you mimed arms pulling it up. Well, no, not pulling it up, just moving around. How yeah. does it move? It just kind of does. It rolls. Like it coagulates. <laughs> it just moves. Like it slides along. Does it Does it take the hair from the people it consumes? Yes. To become bigger? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Like, um, you know how a worm, like, kind of pulses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what this does. Oh, gross. Does it dry out? Uh, Is that how you kill it? Oh, I imagine we burned it. That'll do it. You set it on fire. That burnt hair smells real gross. Yep. I say we just leave it be. Put it in the ocean. Yeah. Tie it it's, to a rock. It's a fish's problem now. I like the idea of we like we call like because apparently we call Godzilla to get help from him. Yeah. We summon Godzilla and he looks at it and he looks at us and does it, Godzilla doesn't speak English, but he looks at us and he goes, really? Really? You fucking serious? This, this is this is it, right? And he just picks it up and throws it into space. He throws it at the sun, that's how he beats it. I mean, he could probably beat it just with his laser face. His uh, atomic breath. Yeah. I like the idea that Godzilla um, like uses the atomic breath to push it out of the atmosphere and into space. Just one day you see just the sun go... <laughs> and he's like... Ooh. Ooh. A huge ga- uh, Do gas. Do I need to have place. a shower? Is that what that is? A huge ball of hair smoke is coming this way back to Earth, being pushed this way from the sun. Citizens are warned: wear a gas mask for yeah. a little while. It's going to be a bit shit, but you know it'll be fine. That's my kaiju. You want to go hair. again? Yeah. Do you want to go again? Sure. Cool. I kind of want to want to continue on from this hair thing. Though. Okay, fine. We'll keep so, going. So, you know, you, you've got your hair. You, 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 it's down the drain. You know what else is a huge problem right now? What? People who uh, flush wet wipes. Okay. Right? Now, this is an actual actual problem in England. People, people fl- like, they, they wipe mm. with, with, like, baby wipes instead of toilet paper because right. it's fresher and stuff. Yeah. yeah they yeah. flush those, but they don't. Fall, fall apart like toilet paper does. Yeah. Because they're not, they're made to not fall apart. Yeah, they're made much sturdier. So, in the drains in London, there are huge, like, like literally, like, s- sewer blocking mm. things, bus sized wet wipes covered in poop. Oh. Now, that's, that's a real thing. That's unpleasant. It's the same idea with the hair, mm. but this time we've got poopy wipes. So essentially, you want the great mighty poo. Yes. Oh, fuck. musical number and all. It just comes up like I am the great mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. <laughs> I also want this uh, want this wet wipe monstrosity to be very British. Oh, I say, I've come up here from the sewers. I was thinking more Tom Holland British. Oh, of course. Oh, blimey! Oh, blimey! I'm Tom Holland! It's me, the great mighty wet wipe! Hello, hello! I've been flushed down the toilet, I have! I brought me in now to, to get more revenge on old blighty! So, <laughs> someone decided to chuck nuclear waste and now here I am! Here I am! I've been given sentience but I stink to hive and... Oh, blimey! And then you've got someone being like... Like, Did like Tom this, Holland become a wet wipe? 
See, I'm just... just Tom Holland be like, that motherfucker. Oh, that motherfucker stole my voice. <laughs> I'm just, you, you know how I had the A hey, Paulie. Yeah. It's just like, hello, Paulie. <laughs> I am Sir Brottlesworth, and I am here to pour this nuclear waste down this drain. Oh, I say, Reginald Brottlesworth, that's a great idea. Let me join you. <laughs> <laughs> Because ev- every oh no, I'm playing this back one. <laughs> every kaiju story has to start with someone named Paulie. Yeah. Someone named Paulie pouring toxic waste <laughs> into a drain. sewer. We are the worst era of kaiju. Just <laughs> <laughs> all the people be like, man, I really hate how they took this turn. Of like, all the villains are from the sewer. What's next? A rat king? Coincidentally, my rat next king. one is a rat king. Where from? What accent do we have to do? Um, South African. Oh, no. I'm real bad at that. What pill? It is me, the Red King. I'm going to go to my daughter's belly resortal. <laughs> hello, little boy. I'm the Red King. Oh, hello, Rat King. I'm How here. big is the Rat King? Quite big. Godzilla sized. Godzilla sized Rat King. I've always had this idea that I think it'd be really funny in like an old Elder Scrolls game or like a Dark Souls game or whatever yeah. to have a ba- a villain, like a boss, yeah. who is a Rat King. Because I know Rat Kings can't move. Mm-hmm. So you walk in and you think, oh god, this thing's going to be a fight and then you don't need to do anything and you've won. See, you just stand there and like a second passes and it dies. In Dark Souls there is a Rat King, but it's really boring mm. because it's just one rat that's barely different from all the other rats. That's like, as in, like the fight is against like a ton of rats, and you no. have to kill the one in there. That and it's sturdy, but it's just not fun. See, my I think rat that was Dark Souls. My Rat King is an actual Rat King. Yeah, like it's a ball of rats. It's a ball of rats. Yeah, tied up and such. Poor rats. I feel bad for the rats. Of course, this is yet another situation where a man dumps toxic waste in the sewer. Yeah. All right. Gonna get some cuttlefish later, but first I got to dump this this toxic waste into the sewer poorly. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt that accent. If I um, I want you to. Oh, I want you to. Let's see. Oh, uh, oh all right. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm, go with. I'm bad. I'm changing it to kiwi. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. Hey, I'm gonna dump this uh toxic waste poorly. Toxic waste down the to the sewer, bro. Sewer, bro. You wanna help me out, poorly? All right, then, bro. <laughs> The revolution has begun. <laughs> is this racist? This feels racist. It's probably right. No, we're not. We're not saying anything negative or bad about them. We're just doing accents. Doing accents. But anyway, well, we are. Which we're is saying the they height dump, of comedy. We're saying they dump their toxic waste into the. No, sewer. because because my one is definitely going to start now with. All right, mate. Hey, Bawley. Yeah, brother. Yeah, Bawley, what's up, mate? Come over here. I've got all this toxic waste. I'm going to oh. stick it in the big banana. Ah, <laughs> oh, copy diggy boy gum tree. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now it's fine. Yeah, now it's lit. But okay. So my Rat King, it yeah. storms um, Sydney, I guess. <laughs> it storms Sydney. Well, I was going to say Auckland, but Auckland's not that big. No. So Sydney. It, like, destroys New Zealand and goes after Sydney. The thing is... Like, like we we live in Newcastle, right? Yeah. If anywhere's gonna have a rat king, it's Newcastle. I mean, fair. It's there's so many. You go anywhere at night, and you'll probably see a rat. I work like in town. Yeah. Um. Thankfully, uh, we've managed to stop rats from getting to us. Yeah. But I know they're everywhere. Oh, you walk. Maybe, like, like, from where you walk, you can get to the harbour in yeah. five minutes, and there are rats there. Yeah. But there you are. That being said, like, rats are pretty cute. Like, they're fine. I mean, they can be cute if they're domesticated. Like, wild rats, less. Nah, they're fine. They're not bothering me. Mm. The Personally. rat king will. <laughs> yeah, the rat king will. I like the idea that it just bites everyone. Like, every now and again, a rat dies. So, half the rat king is alive, and the other half is dead. <laughs> the rat king makes its way down to Sydney. Terrorizing everyone, scaring children and men alike. All that's all that's left from where the Rat King started a giant rat poo. Oh, so much rat turds! Because you know, oh no, and you know what the problem with rats is? What 
how fast they breed. Oh, uh, yeah, that's how it stays big. Yeah. Because all the rats are constantly fucking. Yeah. So there's more rats getting added to the king. And it's and just getting it just bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger. bigger. That's how it keeps getting bigger. <coughs> Granted, oh, no. the ratio is still 50-50. Half are dead, half are alive. Yeah. It's just a real quick turnaround. <laughs> Gross. It's basically, they're born, they fuck, they have a child, they die. Yeah. Did you know, mm. is there's a little bit of uh, Australia knowledge for you mm. about our little animals. We got, we got this little rodent in Australia, lives out in the desert, right? He's a cute little rodent, he's, he's pretty chill. Uh, but the way their breeding cycle works, yeah. is they breed once a year, okay? When they, when they breed, the males, uh, their brain switches to function only for breeding. <laughs> okay. Um, all their fur falls off, their body stops fighting infections and disease, because that's not important, as long as they get to breed and mate, then it's fine. And they are essentially all males of the species uh, species die out. Well, yeah. And then the females have their babies, those babies can be male, and that's how the next one starts. How the fuck did this creature survive? I don't know, but they're gross and bad. And, like, they literally, by the end of their breeding season, most of them just dissolve into mush. Because their body hasn't been fighting anything. Hmm. Alright, I've got one final kaiju. Yeah. A giraffe. Okay. Just a giraffe. Just a giraffe. Nothing different about well, giraffes it. giraffes aren't real, so no. a giraffe. I mean, when you think about it, what's more likely, a horse with a horn or a a horse with a leg that's so long that you can't even get to the to its head? The horse with the horn. Yeah. Giraffes aren't real, my man. No. I agree 100%. Yeah. Go to giraffes aren't real on Reddit for more <laughs> evidence. But giraffes aren't real, so just a single regular giraffe. That is my last one. One single you. regular giraffe. Yeah. It's not, what it's what not does big. it do? Does it eat people? What does a giraffe do? Nothing. They're not exactly. real. <laughs> that. It does nothing because it's not fucking real. Well, I like it. Yeah, I, I can't see a problem with the giraffe. Yeah. Um, do you want one more? Yeah, why not? So, did you watch the movie The Meg? The one with Jason Statham? Yeah. I have not. Okay, so it's about a megalodon. I'm aware. Right? Giant, giant shark. Big shark. So, I what I want is that, but with arms and legs. Now, so it, can't, it can't go onto land. Because it still needs to breathe water. All right, but it can grab boats so and King, grab people. So King Shark, but without the ability to go on land. Yeah, and also way bigger, megalodon-sized King Shark. Oh, that's fucking gold. Right. So it's people, got are, arms and legs. people are like, "Oh, we're safe," and then just a arm reaches over. Takes a nibble of a person. In my head, I'm imagining the shark on the ocean floor. And it's got like a shark body. And it's like a like a man in a shark body suit on yeah. its hands and feet. Like a dog. <laughs> on, the sh- now, on the ocean floor. <laughs> running. Not swimming. Running. Now picture this, right? A shark. Like, great white sharks. A big thing they do is they swim upwards. Yeah. Right? They jump out of the water and they, like, grab onto things. And that, that force... Helps to, to kill whatever they're, they're catching. You're getting a plane, aren't you? What? You're going to get a plane. Yeah, going, because he's at the, this thing's at the bottom of the ocean. Legs bend. And then just... Boom! Rockets up. Rockets up. Zooms still, into the still, sky. still got its tail, right? So it's still it's still got that propeller at, like action going. So it jumps and it's going... <laughs> flying up, just out of the water. Zoom. Plane. Bite down. Straight back in. It zooms into the sky. You're, you're not safe no matter where you are. Can I make except a re- for land? Can I make a request? Sure. Can it breathe in space? Yeah, of course. Sick. Space is the same as water because I can't breathe in either. Yeah. <laughs> so here's my idea. This guy could have his own. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Megal King Shark. I'm just gonna call him Shark. <laughs> so Shark could have his own movies. Yeah. All right. They begin as he's the antagonist, but he slowly becomes the protagonist. Of course. Savior of humanity. And in like the law, like he has to fight aliens to save humanity. Yeah. So he rockets into space. It's the idea of a shark with arms and legs in space standing in the typical dude pose like, Hah! You know, they say that King Ghidorah came from space. 
wouldn't have made it to Earth if if Shark knew he was on yeah. his way. The shark would have been in there. Just Paulie, it's Paulie Paul- the, the shark. The shark. Paulie was in the ocean. He accidentally dropped his toxic waste on himself. <laughs> himself yeah, and he and was attacked by a shark, shark. and became a shark. We brought it all back around. Ah, I love Paulie. Paulie's my favorite. That's the end of our era of gaiju film. Yeah. We were like, man, that one about the giraffe was funny. <laughs> it wasn't even... It was just like a nature documentary. Mockumentary, sorry. Mock- yeah, they're not real. Exist. <laughs> On that note, I've been the creator of um, the hair, a rat king, giraffes. <sighs> and I have been the creator of the Australian big things, mm. uh, the wet wipes, <laughs> and shark. And Paulie. And Paulie. Uh, awesome. I love Paulie. Hey, Paulie! Paulie, what you Stop having toxic waste everywhere. Hey, Paulie. The thing is, Paulie works no matter where. Anyone can see. Thanks for listening. To contact Phoenix and Ben, email them at fromahatpodcast at gmail.com or go to our Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description.